Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. Hey, we're bringing another video to you on one of our coaches we just built. It's much, much different than we built in the past, what, 55 years of building. Um, it's, a, it's a new layout uh, customers asked about. Nate's got it all laid up on AutoCAD and we built it and it's a very, very interesting layout. Um, but it has a lot of our same great features. It's a, uh, it's a 20 foot overall tip to tip. Um, it's got a nice big window up at the front, your double propane tanks. It's got leveling jacks all the way around. And it's got the nice double step when you're going into the coach that gives you a lot, it's got lots of stability. So you're not worrying about trying to get it leveled onto the ground to make it secure. It's got great footing going in and out. Um, the windows are all positioned a little different because of the layout on this particular trailer and it's only uh, 84 inches wide so it makes it very towable by lots of the minivans and things that are out there. I should say SUVs, mid-size SUVs that are all rated to tow the 3,500 pound tow limit. This makes a really nice towable family unit or maybe just a couple's unit with grandkids and that. I'll take you on the inside and I'll show you some of the great features on the inside. So to start off on the inside, this has a the gaucho at the front with the overhead traditional bunk that we have. So this bed here is pulling into a 54, but it's 81 in length. So it's the length of a queen, but it's the width of a double. So it's coming right out to the door over by the washroom wall here. It has our overhead bunk here. So it's, it's basically uh, storage up above or you could put it into a bunk. Um, it has the, the liner that covers the opening and the cushions that go in it. So if you've got, you know, a little one or an adult that's 40 years old that uh, needs a place to sleep, we rate our bunks at 200, 225, so an adult can sleep up on the bunk. Or when the bunk's up in position from there, it also gives you just storage that the uh, liner is even with the opening for just storage up above. Um, it's got your little lights in each corner. They did ask for uh, reading lights up at the bed here where they have the USB charge ports and the night light on them and that. And there's all storage underneath the bed here. Moving a little bit more towards the back here. Shut the door and keep a little warmer. Moving towards the back here. This is our, what we call our traditional mid bath. So it's uh, 20, almost 27 inches inside, 26 and three quarters with your vanity, the medicine cabinet and your toilet. And when we do our mid bath like this, we have a little larger holding tanks too on the toilet. And that because the tank's centered underneath the coach and it bumps you up to a 21 gallon on the black. You have outside storage underneath your sink for, for a little bit of extra towels and things for the bathroom. It has your fantastic fan up above here, which is all therm thermostatically controlled. And over to the side here, we have a little dinette here that also will go into a bed. Um, I think this was, how wide was this again, son? 30 inches. 30 inches. So this is a 30 inch dinette here. Um, and you know, I mean, you could squeeze a couple of kids in with it, or you could set a couple stools up here also for sitting here. Um, but you have to also look at, you know, a lot of times when we're out camping, we spend a lot of time outside eating at the picnic table and everything. Um, so it isn't like we're always sitting inside. And if you needed a little extra places to sit, you also have the gaucho at the front. You could put up a couple TV trays and that and sit a few more people for sitting and eating. Along with that, they're not all sitting just at the dinette. You got a nice big overhead cupboard here. Also, and on the kitchen area, it's made it a little bit more compact where you have your microwave up above. This is your two burner cooktop. It's got a single sink with a high rise faucet that has the pull out. Storage underneath with a couple of drawer areas for your cutlery and things. And 
I refer to this as my little spot for putting a garbage can for recycle and garbage and that because the wheel well is positioned right behind this opening. So it's not a really deep cabinet here, but makes a great spot for putting your garbage and recycle so that if you do have pets or anything and they're in here when you are going for a walk during the daytime, they're not in getting in your garbage and pulling it apart and, and, and making a mess once you get back. But being that the kitchen's a little bit more compact, you still have your table right opposite to work on as well, too. So it works out well. We've left your stove out a little bit. So if you want to put a toaster or a percolator at the back, we've got your plug here trying to keep it out of the way and utilize the counter to its fullest. Uh, from there, it's got what we call our 6.5 fridge. So it's got a nice size Dometic gas electric fridge. With your store, with some more storage below it, and it, along with your seats here, there is storage all underneath your seats here, so you have storage below as well on both seats. And then at the back here, uh, instead of doing a closet area, they've asked for a pantry, so this is a pantry, so you've got lots of storage. And then right at the very back here is two stacker bunks. Um, so if they have kids and that for sleeping, uh, they did they did ask for privacy curtains on both of them, so you can put curtains across, giving them a little bit of privacy. Along with if you're still up and the lights bothering them because they're trying to sleep at night, it makes it a little darker for the kids as well. Um, and there's storage underneath the bunk area at the back here, uh, all accessed from the outside. Uh, so it makes it nice as well for that. I think we also did it. It's liftable from the inside. That if you wondered what was on underneath the storage outside. Well, maybe we can catch that on the camera. You can see we've got storage from the outside in between here. The water heater and the furnace. It is accessible from the outside. There is a light down there too. So it's lit when you're on the outside. But we made the decision that when we were building this coach, I thought it would be nice that if we accessed it from the inside because it's not a huge compartment sometimes you put things on the outside compartment you can't remember where it is and it's nice that you could look at it from the inside and when you go outside you can get it um, this unit has a lot of versatility that uh, you basically have four single beds with a double bed between the bunk the dinette and these two beds uh, i've also said that's if you have a family if there's two of you and you and and you've had, I should say, when you've had your family and the family's growing up and, you know, they're not camping with you anymore, the trailer has a lot of uh, functionality that if you wanted to use it sort of as twin beds, you could use it as a twin bed model. If you wanted a double bed, you still have your double bed at the front. And if you got to that point in your life, you now have grandkids because we're expecting a number of years out of this unit. On the average, I tell most of my customers, I expect 40, 50 years out of every coach we build. Um, so when this says it's aging, if you've got grandkids, you can put the grandkids back here. You still have your double bed. So the trailer can keep growing with you over the years and you can enjoy it for many, many, many years out there and have a great time with it and build a lot of memories and dreams as a family. Um, does have air conditioning on it. It does have a uh, Go Power uh, solar panel on it as well for, for uh, that they can be off the grid and that and has all your ducted heat systems. But it makes it uh, a pretty unique unit that we've never built, never shown before, but has so many different possibilities of how you want to use the trailer from a family to just the two of you to having grandkids and uh, it's not a big trailer overall. Uh, when we put this one on and we weighed it too, it's just coming over the 2,400 pounds. I think it was 2,480 pounds. So it isn't a really heavy unit. So that's why I was mentioning if for a lot of the vehicles rated for 3,500, it's in a great tow capacity by the time you put your, your extras on board for going camping between your food, your clothes, and a bit of water and you're hitting the trail to go out there and uh, and uh, enjoy your life. Uh, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions on our product, don't hesitate to give me a call on the phone. Or you could shoot me an email off. Uh, we, look, we look forward to your questions. Um, watch for more videos down the road. Uh, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.